What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. <gasps> now we aren't strangers, are we? Time to float. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Pennywise. And today I'm going to be showing you how to become me. First things first, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like the look. If you guys are looking to go creepy for Halloween, Pennywise is the way to go. Okay. So if you guys want to know how to recreate this Pennywise look for Halloween, then keep watching. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is slick this lovely luscious hair back. Oh, yes. And I'm using the Redken Stay High Gel to Mousse product. And this is going to help me slick all my hair back for that bold cap. I'm also plaiting it back at the very back. And then I'm just pinning all my hair up to the crown of my head. It doesn't matter if it's big here because Pennywise has a really large head at the top anyway. For a little bit of extra security, I'm just putting a wig cap on over the top of my hair. Ooh. And then I'm getting my plastic, I believe it is, bald cap from Krylon. And I'm just placing that over the top of my head. Don't worry, this will stretch. And then as you can see, I'm starting to cut the front forward because this bald cap was large. I believe I have a huge head, so I just got a large and it's a little bit too big around the front. So I'm just cutting around the front nice and neatly. I'm not going all the way to my hairline. I wanna leave a little bit of room to play for blending into my forehead because I don't wanna, you know, blend my hair into my face with latex, not good. And I'm just cutting around my ears nice and neatly, don't wanna to go too Van Gogh here. And to stick my bald cap down, I'm using some Krylon Spirit Gum, and I'm just applying that on my forehead and the sides of my face, and then just pulling my bald cap over the top really nice and carefully, you want it to be straight here. And I'm just holding that down to stick it. Once this was stretched down nice and flat over the front of my face, I then had some excess, so I just cut around those edges again to remove that. And I also did the same around the sides of my ears. I didn't stick the back down properly because, well, I had no one to help me and I was putting a wig over it anyway. But um, yeah, this is my first time applying a bowl cap, guys. Go easy on me. Now Pennywise does not have eyebrows, he more has like dints in his brow bone that look like eyebrows. So I'm just gluing my brows down to conceal them and make sure you use non-toxic glue here. And I'm just brushing the hairs in the direction that they grow so that they sit nice and flat to my head. And just keep going over that with the glue stick until they are flat like you want it. And to start covering my brows, I'm using my Krylon Ultra Foundation in TV White, and I'm just dabbing that over the top of my brows with a beauty blender. And to neutralize my brows, I'm then grabbing my Krylon Concealer Wheel and a concealer brush, and I'm dabbing that orange shade over the top of my brows. This is gonna cover up any purpley tones, and yeah, it's gonna make it easier when we put the scar wax over the top. Hey, baby. I'm then grabbing the Ben Eye Colorless Face Powder and I'm just powdering my brows with a powder brush to set all that. And then again I'm going back in with my Krylon Ultra Foundation and I'm dabbing that over the top of my brows and as you can see watch them vanish. Bye bye! I'm then grabbing my Ben Eye Nose and Scar Wax in light and I'm using a spatula to pick out chunks of that from the tub and just, you know, slap them on my brows, slowly blending here. What you want to do is cover your spatula and your fingers in Vaseline and this is going to help you when blending. Otherwise, when you touch the wax, it will rip it off. Whereas if you use Vaseline, it will like smooth it out nicely and be a lot easier to blend with. 
As you can see, I'm just smoothing out all those edges with the spatula and my fingers, and we're basically creating a new brow bone and forehead here, and that's gonna help us when dinting in those eyebrows that Pennywise has. Keep in mind, you want it to be smooth enough so that it looks like skin around the edges, but it doesn't have to be so smooth because Pennywise's forehead does have a lot of texture. Once I'm happy with that texture of the wax, I'm then grabbing a sharp clay tool, <laughs> and I'm dinting that into the wax and creating those brows and frown lines. And I'm using a reference picture of Pennywise for this so I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You don't want to go too hard here because you don't want to like stab your forehead underneath. Then you can grab a spatula and go a little bit harder because that's not as sharp. So it's a little bit safer. Okay, safety first. So to blend the bald cap into the forehead and remove any harsh lines, we're just going to grab some toilet paper. You can use tissues, whatever you have. And we're just placing latex over the top of that. And that will also create some texture at the same time because Pennywise's forehead is textured. And we're just adding a whole bunch of bits and pieces of toilet paper and then dabbing latex over the top. And this will also cover the hair underneath as well. I'm also adding this around the back of my neck just to blend in the bold cap a little bit more. And I'm using a disposable sponge for this because there's no coming back after you touch latex on a sponge. Going back in with my Krylon foundation and a disposable sponge, I'm dabbing all of that all over my face and just making my whole face white, just like the Pennywise. I do like to start off with cream, just because I find that when I put the paint over the top, it just sits a little bit better. And then when there are any cracks, it's still kind of white underneath. That's just me. You know? I'm then grabbing my Meron Paradise Paint Basic Palette and I'm using the shade White and I'm adding that paint with a large sponge all over my bald cap because one, I don't wanna waste this expensive foundation and two, it would take quite some time. So I'm just dabbing that with the sponge all over my bald cap and you don't have to go right to the very back with this because we are putting a wig on as well. And I just blended that on my face and neck and this is water-based paint so you just add water and you're good to go. Now I look like a spam. <laughs> I'm then going in with Obsidian from my Kai Shadow Bronze Palette and I'm using a Morphe fluff brush for this and I'm just adding that all over my lid, nice and messy and I'm also looking at a reference photo for this to see where Pennywise's black shadow kind of sits. And yeah, you can be as messy as you want, that's the beauty of this look, it doesn't have to be perfect. To really blacken this up as well, I'm going in with a Meron Cream Paint. I'm using the Monster Palette here, and I'm adding that to the top and underneath my eyes as well. Then going back in with Obsidian and my Delium Tools Pointed Liner Brush, I'm filling in those brow lines that I created earlier, and I'm accentuating all the creases in my face with that black. I'm also using a shadow brush to map out the creases on my cheeks. Just anywhere on my face that I have creases, I'm really just going in with some more black, but not too much, because you still want it to kind of look natural. Even on my nose as well. Get them lines out, baby. Ooh, make you look angry. Woo! And for my clown nose, I'm going back in with my Meron Basics palette, and I'm just adding a clown nose to my nose. <laughs> just like the one that Pennywise has. Again, I'm using a reference photo for this and I'm slightly extending the sides of my nose and sort of putting some red in the creases to make my nose look wider than it is, as you can see. And I'm just using a small paintbrush for this. And we all know Pennywise has those lovely luscious lips. <laughs> So I'm using the Pat McGrath Blood 1 lipstick and I'm slightly overlining my lips. I'm then going in with the Blood 2 lipstick to create a darker sort of edge to my lips just like Pennywise has. It's like an ombre lip. He's a little bit fashionable, ain't he? Oh my god, Pennywise, what you doing to me? And considering how many children's arms he's eaten, he has pretty nicely lined lips. So I'm just using a concealer brush to line the edges of my lips and make them look nice and neat with that lipstick. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to address the elephant in the room and it's not me. <laughs> I did add some contact lenses in. These are from Coloured Eyes Australia and they are called Plague. Ooh, yellow Plague. Now with a paintbrush and that Meron red paint that I used before, I'm extending out the edges of my lips and drawing them all the way up my face in that curve shape that Pennywise has to create those cool Pennywise signature lines. Like without these, you're nothing, mate. You're nothing. Then I'm going over my eye and extending it out straight. You can pretty much see what I'm doing. Need I say more? 
did that on both sides and then I also added it over the top of my lid. And to darken up my lips and nose a little more and give them a little bit of depth and shadowing, ooh, spooky. I'm using black and red and mixing them together and just lining my lips, doing the edges of my nose and I'm just using a small paintbrush for this. And because this look is just too hard, we're just gonna get a mask and stick it over the top of our heads and we're done. Yes, no. Okay, this mask actually came with my costume and I thought why not put it to good use. This hair is actually bomb and perfect for my look. So I cut the face off the mask and I just used the back of the head of the mask which had all the hair on it to actually do my hair. You could also do this with crepe hair and you can also do it with a wig and cut up a wig. But yeah, I just found this really easy and I was like why not use it? Look, it fits perfect. Yes, Pennywise up in this place. So to stick the hair down, all I did was use some liquid latex and again a disposable sponge and I just dabbed it around where I wanted the hair to sit and around the back of my head so that it stuck down nicely. Also, don't forget behind your ears. And then I just put the wig on top, held it down and yo, yo, that hair. Mm -hmm. Now you can leave your hair like this if you're lazy, but we're actually going to copy the style of Pennywise's hair. So I'm going to divide my hair up into the three sections that Pennywise has and they're kind of like into points. And then I'm going to spray them in place with my Redken hairspray. And then I'm also going to curve just the points back because they're not exactly pointed. I noticed they are a little bit curved back. And then finally we just spray that into place. I'm then grabbing the Benai Dark Blood which is aged and oxidized and I'm adding that around my mouth and just dripping down a little bit. You can leave your makeup like this at this point or you can add blood. I just find it adds to the creepy effect a little bit more. I'm also adding that around my nose. And then putting in my Pennywise teeth, I also added two buck teeth to the front of these which you can just take off so it doesn't damage the teeth underneath. And I did this using the moldable plastic that heats up in hot water. I'm also adding a bit of blood there to creep it all out, you know. Mm. I should have shown you how I molded the teeth, but if you Google polymorph plastic, you can definitely see how it's done on YouTube. It's super easy. And that's the final look, guys. But uh, something's missing. <gasps> uh, huh. <laughs> Costume time. If you guys want to know where I got this costume from, I will definitely link it in the description box below. I'm super happy with how this turned out. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you can. It always helps. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye. Stay creepy.